Welcome to our channel, Aportes Afro-Costarricenses y Diaspóricos. In our section, Caribbean Connection, we will be speaking with Reverend Darren Evans on the topic, Jamaican Roots in Costa Rica. Let me remind you that the second wave of people of African descent who arrived in Costa Rica during the late 19th century were Caribbean um, immigrants and the most of them were Jamaicans. So hence the reason for our discussion today. Well, let me introduce Reverend Evans to you. Darren Evans is a native of Kingston, Jamaica. He is an Anglican priest and for the last four years has been the rector and dean of the Episcopal Cathedral of the Good Shepherd in the center of San Jose. He is the coordinator for youth ministries in the Episcopal Diocese of Costa Rica. He also teaches English at the Wizard Institute. Darren holds a diploma in teaching and a Bachelor of Arts from the University of West Indies, Mona Campus in Jamaica and a master's of science degree, degree from the University of South Wales. He is also trained classical pianist. In his spare time, he enjoys listening to old school reggae music and traveling to new places. Welcome Reverend Darren. Thank you, thank you very much. My pleasure for being here. Well, thank you so much. So um, after living in Costa Rica for a while, can you detail some elements of the Jamaican late 19th and early 20th century culture that are retained among their Afro-Costa Rican descendants in terms of food? Yes, um, certainly. Uh, I, I have seen since I've been living here that I feel so much at home among the Afro-descendant population because basically almost everything that is shared to me in terms of food is the same. So for example, I can talk about Aki. I see a lot of Aki trees in Limon. That's something that we eat. As a matter of fact, that's the national dish of Jamaica. I see breadfruit, again, a very, very important part of um, the Jamaican food culture. Kalaloo, um, soup, drinking of a lot of soup, and also we can talk about things like codfish and pigtail and oxtail. These are some things that definitely um, I can say are similar in terms of the food here in Jamaica. You can also look at desserts such as plantain dark, patties. Those also are things that we have back in Jamaica. Interestingly, here you have something called pambum. And I would say that is similar to something we have in Jamaica called bon, which is what we eat um, at Easter time with a little cheese in it also. Um, the drinks are similar. I, um, the fruit juices that you make here, similar to what we have in Jamaica. Also, I must not forget the rondong. Again, that's a very a classical dish that we have in Jamaica. So definitely, definitely there are um, a lot of similarities in terms of food that I can make a comparison between here and Jamaica. Now in terms of music. Music, again, similarity. Interestingly, I have a friend, Jamaica, he is a lecturer at the um, University of North Carolina. And he came here last year to visit. And we went to Limon. And his area of study is ethnomusicology. That's what he has his doctorate in. And when we went to Puerto Viejo, there was a mento band, a, a, what you call Calypso band. And he was just amazed. He was like, what is this doing here? And I said, that is it. That is the link between here and Jamaica in terms of the Afro um, population here. That's another retention that I can say, the Calypso band. Although in Jamaica, we call it mental. 
um, it's interesting that that actually started in Jamaica with the immigrants, Jamaican immigrants who went to Cuba and worked and came back to Jamaica and saw the form of music there called Sun. Um, this is something that I've also, you know, read in a book called Regional Footprints, you know, and it came to Jamaica from the Cuban immigrants who went to Jamaica and then, you know, it was mixed up and somehow it came over here. So, you know, um, definitely the, the music presence of, from Jamaica is still here. And now in terms of dress. Dress. That one is a little difficult. That one is a little difficult. Um, because our national dress in Jamaica is called bandana. And I've not seen bandana here at all. Interestingly, bandana is a national dress of Jamaica from the East Indian immigrants. Um, and interestingly, that's something I may talk about, you know, sometime in the course of this conversation, but I realize that the things in Jamaica that we adopted from the East Indians, I don't see them here. And the bandana is one of them. Okay. Could you describe a little more about the bandana so that we could get a, like an imagery? Okay, um, the bandana is actually a, a type of material, it's a plant material. With um, it's, it's red. I, I was actually looking for a demonstration to show you, but I couldn't find it. But it's it's a red plaid material. Um, red. It has white. It has a little blue in it. Um, and there are different forms actually. It's a very colorful um, piece of material, and you can make it in any way. You can use it to make a shirt. You can use it to make the lining on a on a piece of clothing. You know. So that is, that's what we have as our national dress, our national fabric. Somos voces de la historia Sangre, tinta y papel Somos voces de la historia Mis ancestros, su saber Mis ancestros, su saber Mis ancestros, su saber Ao y ao Ao y ao 